guys welcome back to my channel I am in the process of <clears throat> packing for Gavin we're leaving in two weeks and I thought that I would go ahead and knock out some of these videos so that at least his stuff is packed and I don't have to worry about it so in case you didn't hear on any of my other videos I mentioned that I'm not a packing pro when it comes to babies. I, this is my first baby, I've never done this before, I don't know what I'm doing, blah, blah, blah. Yes, sorry if I have to repeat myself, but some of you have might not have heard that. Um, another thing is that I'm trying to film in between being a mom. So Gavin is in the other room, perched in front of the TV in his jumper, and I feel kind of guilty about that, I'm sorry. But if he starts to scream and cry, I got stuff to do so sorry if my videos seem choppy the last thing is that I have allergies I'm sniffy I'm congested it's annoying and I'm sorry but other than that I'm gonna jump right in this is a packing video well this is part of the packing series me and my husband are taking um, our son Gavin to Disney World and this is what I anticipate needing in Gavin's theme park diaper bag. Yes, um, diaper bag slash stroller because some of this stuff can go in the stroller, obviously. But this is in regards to a nine month old. Gavin is nine months old at the moment. So yeah, I'm just gonna jump right in because we gotta speed things along, right? Um, this is the diaper bag that Jacob ordered for me um, from Amazon. It's across the seas. From China it's a knockoff but it's in the pretty Burberry design which is really nice so I like it um, it hasn't fallen apart just yet and I've been using it for two months so that's a plus a little bit about this is that the reason he bought this for me is because I decided I wanted to use a backpack style diaper bag for this particular trip and then I've been using it because it's super awesome anyway but just so that you know it's got inside of it I have tucked away is the strap to make it a crossbody bag if you want it just clips on the sides right here and then you can use it as crossbody bag satchel whatever and then also if you don't like either of those things and want to use it purse style it has these little thingies as well so it is really really convenient you it can also click um, take the straps off too you just clip them and I don't, actually don't remember how because I've been using it backpack style but it does have that option so just throwing it out there the last and final thing I want to mention about this bag in addition to having um, the three carrying options and a ton of pockets which is a plus is that the front of the bag doubles as a pocket and a changing pad what how convenient I absolutely love it so the idea is that you would sorry I'm using it at the moment it's kind of a mess but the idea is that you can put your diapers here and then open it up and there's your changing pad I don't know if I can, if you can see it guys I have no idea how much of this you can see but um, you can put your stuff here, but I'm, um, I might not use this when I'm at Disney. I don't know yet. We'll just see. But, um, I'm also going to put in this bag, in this pocket, the diaper rash cream and baby powder. So, yes, you'll put however many diapers you need and then whatever else you need in there. And then on the side, um... <clears throat> I wasn't really going to go into details, but since I'm talking about it, on the side here we have the um, insulin lined pocket for your bottle, and on this side you have the pocket for your wipes, which is stuffed to the brim because I've got a very big <laughs> wipey package at the moment. And then inside we have a main pocket, and on each side, well, on one side I have three pockets, on this side I've got a Velcro pocket. And then on the top side, you have one zipper pocket. So do what you want. Pack, pack it how you want. Whatever. If you decide to buy this, good luck. I have no idea where Jacob bought it. My battery is low. I hope I don't run out of battery before this ends. So jumping in, 
I've got my list here, as usual, my packing list. Like I've said in my other videos, this is just a list of things that I can think of the top of my head that Gavin would normally need in a diaper bag and stuff that he would also need pertaining to a theme park. So I'm going to jump right in. Um, I don't know if I should go up down the list or just pull out of the box. I'm going to pull out of the box because everything that I have on my list I put in here. Now I have everything in here. So yeah, jumping right in. First I have, in no particular order, a swaddle because it's going to be good for multiple uses. When it's cold, when it's raining, if he spits up, whatever. If you want something to sit on, all of those things, all of those things. If it's, um, if it rains and he gets wet, you want to dry him off so that if you go inside of a building, he doesn't get cold, he doesn't, or she, whatever baby you have, whatever gender baby you have, he or she doesn't get cold when you are going in and out. If you happen to be in a building and it gets cold because they have awesome air conditioning, you have something to use. Or if you need a shade in a stroller without being too hot and combining like a blanket would, I think a swaddle is perfect. So there's that. I don't know where to put these things. There, I guess. And um, I have a jacket. It's not a light jacket, but still, you never know when you might need it. And it's got a hood, so if it's if you don't want to pull out like a poncho or an umbrella, it's got a hood on it so that he doesn't get rained on in the event that he is out in the rain. Or she, forgive me, is out in the rain. I have um, an extra outfit. I have it in a onesie style so that you're not having to fumble around with a shirt and shorts and that's just convenient for me. Um, I hope that I don't ever have to use a backup outfit. I'm anticipating one on the first day because I'm going to give him one of those Mickey ice creams to eat on his own and he's going to get all messy anyway. So I'm taking multiple outfits on that day just in case you care to know. So yeah, an extra outfit because Lord knows what's gonna happen. If you feel like you need another outfit, like a backup backup, by all means, go right ahead. I have no idea what you think you'll need for your child, so there you go. This is just what I'm gonna do. <sighs> I have a hat that he doesn't like to wear, but you never know. I'm gonna take a hat and a pair of sunglasses that he also doesn't wear. I put these in his Easter basket and they're uh, Star Wars themed. But we'll just see, if he doesn't wear them after the first day or even the second day, then I'm just gonna chuck them and, well, not throw them, but I'm not gonna continue to pack them in the diaper bag as usual. So there's that. I have however many diapers you think you're gonna need. This is just an example. <laughs> uh, I threw these in here. I'm probably gonna take I don't know, one for every two hours of the day. So however long you think you're gonna be at the park, I take one diaper for every two hours because sometimes he goes like poop three times in a morning and there's like three diapers done in the first half of the day. And then however many you think you need in the afternoon. Use your own discretion, whatever you think. But um, I'm probably gonna take about six just a point of reference because that's the amount of diapers I carry in this bag at all times anyway and I don't ever go through all of them but then again I'm not really gone all day here at home like I would be over there so who knows use your own reference count how many diapers your baby goes through in a day and go from there um, continuing I'm gonna take wipes I bought this because it's refillable and it fits in the pocket of my diaper bag too. So I have big fat 100 count um, packets of wipes here at the house and I'm gonna take two of those with me and then refill them into this. I can't imagine, I mean, I have no idea what to expect, but I can't imagine going through over 200 wipes. If for some reason that happens, then mommy's gonna buy more wipes. That's just how it goes wet ones because 
they touch everything and you touch everything and it's Disney and there's a million billion people with a million billion germs. So I bought the um, Extra Gentle Sensitive Hypoallergenic, no added fragrance or alcohol. However, keep in mind that once you open this, some of the um, liquid kind of spilled, like it doesn't spill everywhere, but it seeps out into the seal. And once it's wet, it doesn't seal as well anymore. So work on that wet ones company. But keep in mind that that might happen. And in that case, I put them in a Ziploc baggie, which is what's going on in the diaper bag at the moment. <sighs> Where was I? I've got boogie wipes because why wouldn't you need boogie wipes for a baby? Wiping their nose with, with regular baby wipes it tends to hurt after a while. I know, I've used them a couple of times to blow my nose and that hurts. So, this started as a 30 count. I may or may not buy another one before we go. I don't know, we'll just see. We'll see. Anyway, this is what's going in there, FYI. Still filming, I get a little paranoid that um, it's not filming anymore for some reason. Uh, let's see. Gavin's kind of grumpy. But <clears throat> I have a sippy cup here. It's the Nuke Learner Cup in the Mickey Mouse design. And I can't say it's leak proof, but you know, whatever. It's doing a decent job. But I also had Jacob order online a set of like leashes, if you will. He's mad. He's very mad. Anyway, I have a set of leashes. One is for teething or teether pacifier, which I lost. I'm so mad. Um, the other one is for a sippy cup, and it has a clip on it. And then the other one is for a toy. So if I needed to use the toy leash for a pacifier, I would, but Gavin doesn't use a pacifier, so we're all good. So I think it's kind of funny that I lost the teething or the pacifier leash. Anyway, not besides the point. Sippy cup because Gavin is learning how to drink water. He can only have three ounces that I um, know of at the moment. We have a doctor's appointment the day before we leave on vacation. So if the doctor says that he can have more than three ounces in a day, then I'll up the number of uh, water ounces that he can drink because uh, Orlando is hot and he might get thirsty. So anyway, there's that. I have um, diaper rash cream. I have little samples that I have no idea where they came from, to be honest with you. I don't know, but I have two of them, two of them. In the event that I pop these open and run out, then I have this one because it's the smallest one that I have at the moment. The one that I have here at home is even bigger than this. At the moment, Gavin has a mild diaper rash, so I'm currently using it um, pretty frequently, almost every, well, every diaper change. So I'll probably go through these pretty quickly and then end up having to use this, but this will last me the whole time, so I'm not worried about running out, but it's small enough to fit in the diaper bag without being massive. I have baby powder as well. Gavin doesn't usually use baby powder, but things can get hot and sweaty down there for any human, any adult, and you are also in a humid climate, so I'm anticipating using this pretty frequently for him so that he doesn't get uncomfortable and that might just add fuel to the fire when it comes to his diaper rash. So I'm gonna take the little baby one. I happen to have two more of these. I'm only taking one more travel size in addition to this because like I said, I don't anticipate running out because, I mean, how much baby powder do you have to use, right? Who knows? I have a soft version of baby food because, because babies need to eat. But I bought this in a pouch because it's going to be convenient to pack in a diaper bag instead of like a jar style. And he can suck from it too. He can't squeeze it, but he sucks from it and that's a plus, so that's easy. I also am going to pick up some more of these 
pickups because Gavin can feed himself and if we are at a sit down dinner or even like a quick service lunch and I don't want to feed him french fries for every <laughs> meal that we sit down to eat then he can have something healthy and still occupy himself by feeding himself does that make sense so there's that I just remembered something that I want to add to that that I don't have on my list but I happen to have in the diaper bag that goes along with this is a sticky table mat I'm sorry I'm so congested I happen to have picked these up at Chick-fil-A because they're free and I grab a few every time I go to Chick-fil-A so shame on me I'm sorry Chick-fil-A but I'm stealing your placements they're free anyway use them wherever you want they stay the tape peels off and you can use them anywhere because you know he's if he's gonna be eating off you want something clean to be eating off of so there's there's that I have a, um, a bib because he is teething and he's also gonna eat too I may or may not take his waterproof slash water resistant bib with us I can't decide but um, yeah, he's teething and then you want a bib for when he's eating also. Teething and eating. Bib for both. I also happen to have um, Disney bibs too. So if I can coordinate and match his bibs with, without, with his outfits, that's a plus. But that might not happen. We'll see. I have a water, a water bottle. I have a bottle and formula because um, we're not breastfeeding anymore. Well, we are, but not like meal supplement. Like, it's not meal worthy <laughs> breastfeeding. So, I happen to have the water measured out already in here. Actually, that's not even enough water, but whatever. Water in here and a can of formula. I can decide if I'm going to be taking this big old can with me or if I want to put it in a Tupperware or a bag or something. I don't know. I haven't made up my mind yet, but. Hypothetically speaking, I have his bottle and formula for feeding. I also have two backup bottles that I carry in my diaper bag at the moment that I will be taking into the park. I think. Probably. If I run out of all of these, all three of these feedings, then I'll just buy more water or go home and get more. Go back to the resort and get more. We'll see. I have <clears throat> baby copper tone sunscreen, self-explanatory. I have, how do you even pronounce this? Baby, baby Ganix, baby Janix, well, I don't know. Um, insect repellent because duh, mosquitoes. I have a clippable poopy bag dispenser. You just twist it or pull it and the bags come out in case you aren't anywhere that you can dispose of your diaper appropriately. I would hope that you're changing your diaper, your baby's diaper in an appropriate place, but in the event that you don't, you can't do that, then you have a place to put your poopy diaper or pee pee diaper, whatever. But this also di uh, doubles as a bag for um, diaper blowout dirty outfits so if you have a dirty outfit that you got to blow out in or throw up or spit up or whatever have you and that clothes is dirty you can just put it in one of these or a ziploc bag whatever works for you and you're all set to go <clears throat> um it's still in the box right now i'll probably take it out and put it in a ziploc bag but i have gavin's um ibuprofen um fever reducing, pain relieving medicine, and a thermometer too. So just in case, you never know. Probably put that in a Ziploc bag because it doesn't need to be in the box. But I have the thermometer, the medicine, and the dispenser in here too. I have a teeny tiny umbrella. This has been with me to Disney two or, two or three times, I don't know. But I like that it's small enough to fit in his diaper bag 
So, you know, Gavin's not going to be holding his own umbrella or anything, but I will be holding an umbrella for us, and then, you know, we'll have another umbrella for Jacob or something. But this can fit in his diaper bag, um, or the stroller, or Daddy's backpack, you know, whatever, whatever. But that's part of the thing. This is not the fan that we're going to be, well, yes and no. This is, this is Jacob's fan. This is one that we have taken us, taken with us every, as for as long as I can remember. I have a blue one. Jacob has this orange one. We bought a stroller fan for Gavin, but it's clicked on the stroller in Jacob's truck and Jacob is at work. So I cannot show you the stroller fan that we bought. Um, but in the event that that runs out of batteries or breaks or something, then we always have this one and mine, so we have two of these, um, as a backup. So there you go. I have, in the event that Gavin is so, un wait, what's the word I'm looking for? Like he's throwing a fit and you can't calm him down, there's a word for that. Then I'm going to pull out a brand new toy. He hasn't seen this toy yet, and uh, we'll just hope that he goes for it and likes it. So I have a toy in mind. This and, you know, whatever toy we pull out of our bag. So just an example, toy. I have a familiar toy and a new toy. And then I have a teether toy. So this one he has already seen in his room and he's like tried to grab it several times. So I know that he likes it, but he can't have it. So I have this to go. Um, I don't know. I just thought of something else and I don't know where it is, but the other thing is hand sanitizer. Um, I have one that clips to the diaper bag and I don't know where it is. It's somewhere. Gavin's upset. It's somewhere in this room. It's in the suitcase or it's, I don't know, but it's a clippable hand sanitizer for whatever you need. Guys, that is everything that I have written down for Gavin's Disney theme park diaper bag slash stroller. I'm going to wrap this video up because Gavin is throwing a fit at the moment. So I got to get him entertained. Just give him some love. But thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful to you. If there is something that you thought of that I didn't mention, please let me know in the comments below. If you have any advice for me, let me know. Oh, oh my gosh, I'm so dumb. You know what else goes in here? Is Gavin's poncho. I would get it, but Satil's laying on the suitcase. <laughs> So there's another thing is Gavin's poncho. It's a yellow one and it's not a plastic poncho, but it's a like fabric poncho that we ordered online. It's in my other video. Uh, check it out. It's in the pre Disney haul video and it's probably going to be in my what's in my suitcase video too. So anyway, wrapping this up because I'm thirsty and I'm hungry and I need chapstick and I need to blow my nose. <sighs> Thank you for watching. <laughs> I'm so spastic. Anyway, yes. Bye. Have a good night.